These are the new leads. These are the Glengarry leads. What do you, what do you do? What can you do? What can you do? You don't have the leads. If you do not have the goddamn leads. It's all about the damn leads, man. What is what is you guys for Kate the Farmer? We're back and winning for yet another Patreon movie request, you guys. Today we're watching Glenn Gary, Glenn Ross from 1992. Another very interesting pick by one of my Patreons, and one that I'm kind of excited for because I know that it stars Mr. Al Pacino. And even though I've only seen him in one movie so far, which I'm sure everyone can guess, uh, Scarface, um, I am very curious to see him in other roles where he isn't a drug lord so this should be fun but, but guys before we get into it hit the like and subscribe button for your boy check out the patreon for your chance to request a movie of your own and to vote in my polls link in the description box below and without further ado let's do what it do uh-huh yeah well i'm i'm stopping here then i got a little meeting and then i'll <laughs> i would if i could hello mrs swoboda this is dave moss yeah we spoke yesterday now on the Rio Rancho estates, we've had a situation just come up. The president of our company is in town just one day, and he has certain parcels. Uh, doctor. Baby, I can't make a goddamn dollar with these leads. They give me a better lead, and don't go waste my time. A sales conference? The strategy comes from downtown. Oh, the strategy? The strategy? Well, I think I'll pass. I wouldn't. Why is that? When you come, then you'll see. It's not your personal buying. You understand personal problems? I could use a leg up. After the meeting. I hear the new Blend Gallery leads. After so the meeting, Shell. Does Kevin Spacey always plays a character that nobody likes? Because he's good at it. They say you should not drink alcohol when it's so hot. Which is that? Something I read. For they say it dehydrates you. They say you should drink water. But I subscribe to the law of contrary public opinion. Let's talk about something important. Put that coffee down. <laughs> you think I'm fucking with you? Uh-oh. Your name's Levine? Yeah. You call yourself a salesman, you son of a bitch? I don't gotta listen to this shit. You certainly don't, pal. Because the good news is you're fired. <laughs> yeah, I like this guy. It's intense. The leads are weak. The leads are weak fucking leads a week you're weak i've been in this business 15 years what's your name fuck you <laughs> that's my name you know why mister because you drove a hyundai to get here tonight i drove an eighty thousand dollar bmw <laughs> that's my name he got you there the man got you there a b c a always b b c closing always be closing always be closing a guy don't walk on the lot lest he wants to buy They're sitting out there waiting to give you their money are you gonna take it are you man enough to take it damn he makes me want to sell some sh you see this watch yeah that watch costs more than your car <laughs> what's with the car shaming I can go out there tonight. The materials you got make myself $15,000. Tonight, in two hours, can you? Can you? They're quiet. It takes brass balls to sell real estate. <laughs> Yo, this guy's killing it. He's killing it. Go and do likewise, gents. The money's out there. You pick it up, it's yours. You don't, I got no sympathy for you. These are the new leads. These are the Glengarry leads. And to you, they're gold. And you don't get them. Why? I wish you good luck, but you wouldn't know what to do with it if you got it. And just leaves. Perfect. That's Perfect. nonsense. Treat people like that. That is a boss that is going to make you get rich or die trying. Fuck him. I'm doing my job. I got to put up with his childish. I don't make the rules. I'm paid to run the office. You don't like the rules, Dave? There's the door. Lindy. Yeah, what about the new leads, huh? The new leads. The Glengarry leads. I've got them. 
We're gonna hang on to them, and they'll be assigned to closers. How much do you want to bet they're not even real leads? It's just giving them something to work towards, which is genius. <laughs> Hello, this is Sheldon Hello, Levine. Please listen closely. Yeah, I only have a now. moment or so. I can speak only to a Mrs. Nyborg. I was just thinking, oh, uh, I wonder if I belong in this business. And a guy out there, no support, no confidence. Then I say, nobody can close him. Then I look at Roma. Roma, fuck Roma. I had a freak, a couple, you know, a little run of luck. Oh, I try, I try, I, I can't still forget it. Come on. I can't close him. Maybe sales just isn't for him. Damn sure it wasn't for me. For nothing. For some jerk, sit in the office, tell us, get out there and close. Go win a Cadillac. Graf, he goes out there and buys. He pays top dollar for it. You see? Yes. For the leads. That's thinking. Well, there's the leads, there's the overheads, there's the phones, there's a lot of stuff. What do you need? A telephone? Some broad to say good morning? Nothing. Nothing. It's the leads. The whole thing is the leads. You understand me? I've got a little bit of a problem here, John. Yeah, I'm closing up the office. Yeah, well, come across the street, have a drink with me. I gotta get home. Just five minutes. I am trying to get home for two five hours. Minutes. I gotta go home, what? grab one hour with my kids, come back here, okay, see John, if any of you please. close the contract, one minute, take huh? the contract to the bank. How about one minute? I'm done. Roma. Well, under here, Moss. Oh, bullshit. Bullshit, John! April to September, it's me. It's no fucking Moss. Hey, due respect, he's an order taker. Oh, talk. Woo! Talk's a good game, but don't look on the board. It's me. Not lately, it isn't. Not lately. As good as the talker he is, you think he'd close more. Now, look, I need the lease to sell. After the I contest, need... after the 30th. Bullshit after the contest. If I'm not up on that board by the 30th, they're going to can my ass. I can't do it, Sheldon. John. Damn, man. Sales is unforgivable. You can tell my man is on his last leg, man. He is desperate. Listen, uh, I gotta talk to you. You have been. Me to do it. What? Two leads, a hundred bucks. Now? Now, yes. Oh, when? Shit, John. I when wish you... I could. You fucking asshole. I don't have it. I, 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 I don't. I gave you two today. Oh, Christ, one is a bust out, John, and the other ain't home. Shall I? I promise you, I've been on the phone, I know. No more leads today. Two per day. You've got yours. Right. All right? Sure. They have been negotiating for, like, a solid 30 minutes. <laughs> this, this back and forth is amazing. I love that. I love that because when you get these sales calls, you never think about what the person on the other end is going through. Half the time, they may be on their last leg, just like this guy. Mm -hmm. You go in the door. I gotta close this fucker or I don't eat lunch or I don't win a Cadillac. We work too hard, George. What do you, what do you do? What can you do? What can you do? You don't have the leads. If you do not have the goddamn leads. Mr. Spano? It's all about the damn leads, man. Ooh, beauty. <laughs> <laughs> uh, where's the missus? Don't blow this one. Uh, so you're here to sell me some land? No, I wouldn't try to sell you land. I leave that to the salesmen, you know, the people who want to own land. I think something has to be fed, uh, watered, and painted. I didn't say anything about uh, I'm that. sure she I forgot. I'm on a plane to Florida. Well, I'm so sorry if we put you out. No, you she, didn't put uh... me out. No, I'm just trying to think, Larry. I... The face <laughs> you know, of desperation. That's the only parcel that I've got. You know what I'm going to do? I do a no! Bit, Larry. I... No! Do you understand? Thank you, no. It's a hard no. All right, let it go. And it's raining cats and dogs, man. Damn. You know, if they get you on a bad beat, they get you on, and you got to go out there, get a new job. Yeah, with no, with, with no... With no confidence. Yes. I'll tell you what the hard part is. Is to stop thinking like a goddamn slave. I'm saying, see, if we were, if we were that kind of guy to hold up the joint and trash it, it looks like robbery. We take the fucking leads out of the files and we go to Jerry Graff. Huh. And we take the fucking gun, Gary leaves. <laughs> it's Glenn Gary Lees are having guys contemplate real crime. I hope no one gets murdered over these damn leads, man. These damn leads I don't even think exist. You get befuddled by a middle class morality, get shut of it, shut it out. You cheat on your wife, you did it. Live with it. You fuck little girls, so be it. There's an absolute morality. Did you ever take a dump made you feel like you just slept for 12 hours? Did I? Yes. Well, what is he even talking about? 
know. Or a piss. This is supposed to be the guy that has all the good leads. Are you just talking about this, or are we just talking about it? Yeah, we're just speaking about it. Speaking about it as an idea. Yes. We're not actually talking about it. No. Talking about it as a... No. As a robbery. As a robbery? No. <laughs> You're gonna steal the leads. Have I said that? Are you? Did I say that? Did you talk to Graham? What did I say? <laughs> what did he say? What did he say? Oh, my God. You buy him. <laughs> guys don't know what the hell they're gonna do they're gonna do everything but sell the properties they're supposed to yeah man he's the most saddest one because he's actually out here really trying everybody else is kind of i don't even know so you're saying you gotta go in there tonight and you i'm sorry <laughs> you. me you have to go in you have to get the leads i do it's not something for nothing george I took you in on this. You have to go. It's your thing. Well, it's tough luck, George, because you are. Why? Because you just told me about it? That's right. Why are you doing this to me, Dave? <laughs> because you're the most easily influenced? Glad I met you. I'm glad I met you, James. I want to show you something. Look at this. What is this? This is a piece of land. I'm finding it harder and harder to tell if this guy is actually brilliant or just like really drunk. But when he talks, he puts me at ease. <laughs> That's signs of a good salesman. Did they get the contracts? Bro, they actually went through with robbing the place? Uh, tell me now. Okay, now talk to me. I'm still trying to sort it out so now, far. Talk to me, talk to me. They got some of the contracts. They link. James Link, which I closed last night. You closed it last night? Yes. I filed it. It went down. You filed it. You filed it. It went downtown. Now you owe me the car. The robbery makes difficult. Fuck you. You owe me the car. <laughs> See? Because this is how we keep score. Bubby. You told me close <laughs> thus and so you get the car. I got it. You please don't leave. I'm going to talk to you. What's your name? Are you talking to me? That's right. I'm no fucking good. Hey. Fuck that shit, George. You had a bad month. You're a good man, George. Wait, wait, wait. Where are the phones? They stole. They stole. What kind of an outfit is it when, when people... They stole the phones. When criminals come and they, they take, they steal the phones. <laughs> they stole the leads. They stole the phones. They stole the... Oh, Christ. Bro, did he really do this himself? For some reason, I just don't feel like he's capable of pulling something like this off. Where were you last night? Where were you? Where was I? Yeah. I was at home. Where were you? At home. See? Were you the guy who broke in? Was I? Yes. No. And don't sweat it, George. You know why? No. You have nothing to hide. When I talk to the police, I get nervous. Yes. You know who doesn't? No. Who? Thieves. George is about to break. Yeah. Patel, fuck you. Fucking Shiva handed this guy a million dollars, told him, sign the deal. He wouldn't sign. And the god Vishnu, too, into the bar. Fuck you, John. You know your business, I know mine. Your business is being an asshole. Find out <laughs> oh, my God. Cousin you are. I'm gonna... You had to bring his religion into it. Rick, eight units Mountain View. You sold eight Mountain View? You bet your ass. Who wants to go to lunch, huh? Who... Fuck you. Guess who? When? Just now. Guess who? You just this morning? Harriet and blah, blah, Nyborg. You did that? Yeah, $82,000. You got a mean streak in you, Ricky. You know that? Shut the fuck up. Me. Ricky, you got a mean streak in you. And what the fuck are you babbling about? You bring that shit up? I come in a fucking office today, get humiliated by some jag off cop. I get accused of. I get the shit thrown in my face by you, you genuine shit, because you're top name on the board? Is that what I did? Dave, I humiliated you. Oh my God, I'm sorry. Sitting on top of the world. I never liked you anyway. What is this? Your farewell speech? <laughs> Going home. Your farewell to the troops? I'm not going home. I'm going to Wisconsin. Have a good trip. Oh, fuck you! <laughs> fuck the lot of you! Fuck you all! <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah, Ricky is the biggest troll. I liked him better when he was drunk. Way nicer guy. Pen out. Always be closing. Oh, God, that's what I've been saying the old ways, right? Convert that motherfucker, sell him, make him sign the check. 
22 minutes by that kitchen clock on the wall. Ricky, not a word, not a motion. Just like the old days, like I used to, like I was taught, I did it. Like you taught me. The whole hey, no, no. Oh. Fox, hand me out. Come on, give me leads. Williamson, hand me out. The leads are coming. Get them too. He really makes closing a deal sound like the most exhilarating experience ever. Have you ever been on a set? Has this cocksucker ever been on a set? Did you if ever you, sit with I a customer? Calm down. Oh, would you? Would, oh my God! What are you going to do? Fire me? Oh, 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 Rick! Oh, it's not impossible. Oh, really? On an eighty thousand dollar day, and what? It's not even noon yet. He is still high on the adrenaline, man. You're a fucking secretary. Fuck you. <laughs> Yeah, that's my message to you. Fuck you and kiss my ass. And if you don't like that, baby, I go across the street and I speak to Jerry Grant. <laughs> Period. Fuck you. How the hell with him? Let's get some lunch, huh, Rick? Leeds won't be up here till later anyway. So. You're a client. Uh, D. Ray Morton. I'm glad to meet you. I just put Jim into Black Creek. Are you acquainted with, uh... What was that service feature you were talking about? You wish... Home cooking. What did... Uh... You had a, you had a tag phrase that you used? They're laying it on too thick. Home uh, uh, the monthly interview. The magazine. They're trying to sell it too hard. Uh, I gotta talk to you. I gotta run right to the airport. Come on, let's hustle. John! Can't talk now, Jim. I'll call you tonight, all right? Sorry. I'm coming, Ray. My wife said I have to cancel a deal. <laughs> it's a common reaction, Jim. And let me tell you what it is, and I know that that's why you married her. One of the reasons is prudence. That's what he was trying to avoid. Who'd she call? The attorney, uh, It was some consumer office. Why'd she do that, Jim? So my book. I can't. Yeah, but we have to before Monday to get our money back. Three business days, they mean. Three business days. Yeah, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. I don't understand. Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. So it would have elapsed. What would have elapsed? If we wait till Monday, it would have elapsed. When did you write the check? These guys are brutal. This fucking Mr. Gus. Nobody should talk to a man that way. How are you talking to me that way? Me. How can you talk to me that way? Oh, no. What's going on? I didn't rob Shelley. I didn't. Shelley, get in the office. He says cooperate or we'll take you downtown. That's not as long as I've... Will you get out of here? Will you get out of... It's not me. It's my wife. What is it? Well, I told you. So is the wife. I, I do. I do. Listen, listen, I do. If I don't get my money back... Come on. I'm talking to you. Listen. Will someone get this guy off my back, please? You have a problem? Jim, anything you want, you want it, you got it. You understand? This is me. He's gonna talk him Something off the ledge. Says, what? Say the words. I don't have the power. <laughs> I said it. Yeah, we see that. I have power to negotiate. Drink, come on. No, uh, she told me not to talk to you. Oh, come on, we're gonna go around the corner. We're gonna no, have she... a drink. Who's gonna know this? Bro, to be good at this job, you have to have me. zero empathy. Now let's go. Come on, right now. Let's go. Come on. Roma. That's nothing. Nothing. Just what are the police doing? Uh, we had a slight burglary last night. No, it's nothing. I was just assuring Mr. Link. Mr. Link? James Link? Your contract went out. Nothing to John. worry about. John. Oh. Your contract went out to the bank. You cashed my check? We... Mr. Williamson. The check was cashed, the contract was filed and deposited in the bank. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I don't know anymore. Oh, no. I'm... Why'd he do that? You stupid fucking cunt. <laughs> what are you going to do about it? Asshole. <laughs> you fucking shit. I'm going downtown. I'm going to talk to Mitch and Murray. I'm going to Lemkin. I don't care whose nephew you are, I love who his hand you know, motions. whose dick you're sucking on, you're going out. I swear to you, you're uh, going... Let's get this done. You want to learn the first rule, you'd know if you ever spent a day in your life. You never open your mouth till you know what the shot is. You fucking child. Williamson has just been making enemies for this entire movie. I really hit the nail on the head with this character in the beginning. I'm talking to you, trying to tell you something. You are? Yeah, I am. What are you trying to tell me? What Roma was trying to tell you, what I told you a long time. A child would know it. He's right. If you're going to make something up, John, be sure that it helps. Hmm? Oh, keep your mouth shut. How do you know I made it up? What? 
How do you know I made it up? What are you talking about? Uh-oh. You said you don't make something up unless it's sure to help. Bro, don't tell me it was him. This entire time. If you tell me what you did with the leads, we can talk. <laughs> yeah, well, I don't know what the hell you're talking about. If you it. tell me where the leads are, I won't turn you in. If you don't, I'm gonna tell the cop you stole them. Mitch and Murray will see that you go to jail. Oh, believe me, they will. Now, where are the leads? I sold them. <laughs> I gotta tell you, I'm ready to do the Dutch. I'm done. Moss gets me, do this, we'll get well. Why not? Big fucking deal. I'm halfway home. I'm not cut out to be a thief. I'm cut out to be a salesman, and I am back. I got my balls back now. You've got a big mouth. And now I'm gonna show you an even bigger one. Where are you going? Hey, well, you can't do that! Huh? Bruce and Harriet Nyborg, Shh. you wanna see the memos? They're nuts. They used to call in every week. Don't. <laughs> oh, no. I'm sorry. He has been losing this entire movie. Because I don't like you. <laughs> My daughter. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Oh, man. I feel bad now. This job is not for making friends. It is not a world of men machine. World of clock watches. Bureaucrats, office holders, what it is. You want to swing around the chinks, watch me eat, we'll talk? I think I'll stay around a while. Hello, yeah. Mrs. Schwartz. This is Richard Romo or with Premier Properties. You are a lot left. Could you come in here, please? I don't have too much time, and I'm on the midnight plane back, so... Time to face the music. you or your husband are truly interested... Why? Rick, I, uh... That's all right, I'll meet you at the restaurant. Yeah, Ricky. Ricky can't help you, pal. All I want is... You know, yeah, what do you want? Have you ever had to pull yourself together while you were getting fired and your coworkers didn't know? <laughs> That's a different kind of pain. You find the guy that broke in the office? <laughs> no. no. I don't know. At least he didn't try and run. I mean, where was he going to run to? This movie didn't only give the most accurate depiction of a real estate office ever in a movie, but quite honestly, the best depiction of any high stakes sales job ever. I love when a movie can just thrive and survive off a solid, strong script. And that is exactly what Glenn Gary Glenn Ross did. The whole movie was based on these intense and thought-provoking interactions supported by these amazingly strong performances. I mean, I'll be the first to say that Al Pacino did not disappoint in this movie, uh, which I did not expect him to, um, but honestly, pretty much everyone in this ensemble cast um, killed it. I mean, Alec Baldwin just had one groundbreaking scene, and honestly, that was enough. He wasn't shown in the rest of the movie. Although I wish he did come back at least for one more scene, but Quite honestly, when you have a performance like that, it speaks for itself. But even with Alec Baldwin's performance, I still think that Al Pacino's character was my absolute favorite. <laughs> he was electrifying, he could be scary, um, super convincing. But like I said before, an amazingly well-written movie. Um, Glengarry Glenn Ross was a movie about desperation, deceit, and honestly just real people. <laughs> You know, just like cogs in the machine. Cogs in the machine of business, sales, capitalism. <laughs> I also definitely feel like anyone who is into sales, has been in sales, looking to get into sales at all, should see this movie. It should actually be a requirement to be in like any high stakes sales position. It reveals so much realities, so much cold, hard realities with the business anyways guys thanks for joining me on my reaction to glenn gary glenn ross leave me your thoughts on this movie in the comment section below don't forget to like this video subscribe and catch you in my next one peace